an uphill battle, not just to keep fit, but to prepare for a very real one. <sighs> Filip Avarenkov has decided to join the Ukrainian army. It sounds like uh, too much, too serious, yeah, but I've lost the meaning of my civil life. Civilian people die, like every day, and it's not a joke. Once a month, I wake up due, due to explosions of Russian missiles bombing Kyiv. And in this case, learning programming or becoming a developer or creating a family, it feels like you are li I'm lying to myself. Philippe is an English teacher in Kyiv. The 30-year-old has been working for months on his physical and mental fitness. Right now, although people think that right now is the worst moment to join army, and I understand that, because Ukraine lack, lacks shells, artillery, men, everything, we lack everything. I feel that I'm ready, and I don't care what the situation on the front line is. I'm strong enough to protect my own country. Philippe has made another important choice to join the prominent military unit, the Da Vinci Wolves. Its founder, Dimitro Kotsobailio, who was killed near Bakhmut last year, is a national hero in Ukraine. As part of a bid to boost recruitment, military units like the Da Vinci Wolves are now hiring people on their own. They recently opened this recruitment center in Kyiv. Philippe is enlisting at a time when Ukraine's outgunned army faces a renewed Russian offensive in the Northeast. I've been thinking about fear a lot. Uh, I have a fear of my body, but my mind is strong. When I go outside, I see that majority of people are afraid. Uh, because war is freaking scary and uh, you either break or become stronger and nobody knows when it finishes. For Philippe, his decision marks a new start. A clean break from his life in Kyiv. I don't need these things and I'm not sure that I'm gonna come back from war. He's giving up his rental apartment and leaving for a military training camp in a few days. But saying goodbye isn't easy. Philippe has cut off ties with his father in Odessa, who he says remains staunchly pro-Russian. He says his family isn't even aware he's joining the army. Who will he miss the most? Um, my friends. I feel that it's worth protecting them. I have to be strong. Uh, yeah, but the most difficult part, yeah, definitely my friends, they are really amazing people. In the afternoon, Philippe meets two of them. Serhi and Ihor have known Philippe since their childhood. His decision to join the army has stirred a lot of emotions. <laughs> Ukraine's army is struggling to find fresh recruits. A new mobilization law has tightened registration procedures for men aged 25 to 60 and imposed penalties for draft dodgers. Philippe, however, made his decision well before that. I support Philippe. I feel proud of him for making such a difficult decision. And I'm also a little ashamed that I haven't made such a decision yet, because I could have made one. Of course I'm worried about him. Philippe has mentioned more than once that maybe this is our last meeting. A few days later, Philippe has begun his military training. 
He's already learned to carry a weapon. He has to be up in the camp by six every morning. Today, the group of recruits is learning to lay booby traps and mines. Philippe remains clear-eyed about what's at stake. All this horror, all this terror that uh, Russians do to Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian people don't deserve that. I see that if I don't protect my country, my country will cease to exist. Despite the difficult path ahead, for now, Philippe says his decision to join the Ukrainian army has never felt more right.